What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Market Journey, and here we are with a portfolio update for the day. As you can see, we're up $680 for the day, or 5.5%, basically 5.6. Today has been a roller coaster ride. It's been one of the weirdest days I think I've ever had in the stock market. It was super strange. So if you look over here, first thing in the morning, right before market open, every single one of my positions were up a ridiculous amount in pre-market so as soon as market opened my call options went absolutely crazy at 9 30 right at market open i was up over a thousand dollars and it continued trending up until about 10 20. i broke the fourteen thousand dollar mark and if you look over here at spy I don't exactly know what happened, but it was like a flash crash. It just dropped super fast. It went from up being 0.4% all the way down over 1%, which is a very big move for an index. If you see an index up 1% or down 1%, there's going to be a lot of volatility in the market. It's going to be really crazy. And also on top of that, it was really strange because I don't know if Robinhood was having some issues or I'm not exactly sure what was going on. But a few of my positions, quote unquote, went worthless. I think it was just some software issues with Robinhood. This drop looks a lot more dramatic than it was. The Like I said, the Robin Robinhood was just having some technical issues. I, but there was a couple of my positions that went all the way down to basically worthless for like a 10 minute period. It was the weirdest thing ever. And so it says that I went from 14,000 all the way down to $10,000, but that is totally not, that's not realistic. That really did not happen. Technical difficulties got to, got to some of my positions and a couple of my other friends were having the same issues. So if I had to predict, I probably say it, it realistically dropped to about here. But either way, as you can see, we're in the green and now we're up over $700. I'm going to get into the positions and I'm, I'm not going to get too deep in them though. I'm just going to go over what I have. Um, I did make some changes. So last week I sold Tattooed Chef right here at the bottom. Last week I sold Tattooed Chef to get into that day trade that I was in. The reason I sold this to get into the day trade was because I was only up on it like $20 and I had held it for a couple weeks. So it wasn't really moving too much. I still want to be in it for the long term. But as I was so close to my average cost, I just went ahead and sold it. That way I could average down on that day trade. Um, and I kind of got really unlucky today. I bought Tattooed Chef, Grow Generation, and x -Ping. And I bought these with terrible timing. I mean, awful timing. I bought these before this massive flash crash, whatever you want to call it. So I bought this one. I bought this one at 10.10. So I bought this one over here. I didn't want to get too picky with when I bought these just because these are such high potential. Like these are the types of stocks that can jump 10% or drop 10% in a day very, very easily. So I don't want to get too picky. And if it doesn't go right when I buy in, I can just average down, which is exactly what I did. Um, with XPing, I only have one contract right now. Um, I was trying to average down and buy another contract because I'm down 21% because of this weird flash crash. I tried to average down, but the order would not fill, so I kind of just gave up on it, but I did average down on Grow Generation. And like I said, I bought Xping, Grow Generation, and Tattooed Chef before that little crash. So as you can see, this one right here, I just bought this today, I'm down 21%. Grow Generation, I'm down 10%. And Tattooed Chef, I'm down almost 12%. I kind of got unlucky with the timing, but it is what it is. You got to move on from it. I did average down on Grow Generation and Tattooed Chef. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to continue holding these. I'm not going to panic sell or anything like that. I definitely think that these companies are going to make me a lot of money. I'm not too picky. I'm going to hold them and see what happens over the next few weeks. But now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and look at this one. This is one of the ones I was telling y'all about. So it went from... $1,175 per contract <laughs> and dropped all the way down to a penny, which for a contract, this is equal to $1. So obviously they were having some major technical difficulties. It was super weird, but I'm up 
$1,236 or 162%. This is a pretty speculative play, but I am going to be holding this one because there are some big institutions that were buying this at the end of last year. As I get closer to the expiration date, which is April 16th is the expiration date. As I get closer, I might end up taking profits on these. I think I can get 200% returns out of this, so I'm probably going to be holding it for the next couple weeks. Alibaba has also done very well for us. Today, I'm up $105. Let's go to today's return. So, I've made $310 on Virgin Galactic, which is the first position, $265 on CCIV, $363 on Fubo, $105 on Alibaba, $60 on Root, and the contracts that I bought today are all the red ones. So I did buy Neo. It was after the big dip in the market when I bought that one, but I'm only down $15 on it. And I bought Bloom Energy. So I'm down on that one 7%. So all the positions that I bought today are down. But you can't really expect anything as soon as you buy something. You got to wait a couple weeks and see what happens. But I also did make a day trade and I made a little bit over $300 as you can see here. If you go to my channel, you'll be able to see a video on that and exactly how I made the $305. But as you can see, I really got unlucky today as far as buying those contracts with Xping, Grow Generation, and Tattooed Chef. If I hadn't have got so unlucky with buying those contracts, my account would be up around $1,300 today instead of $939, but I'm not complaining. I really believe in these. I think they're gonna make me a good amount of money. And with that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. I believe in the last portfolio update, I had Dropbox, but I decided to sell it. I like Dropbox. I just think it's gonna be a sleeper. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be one that's gonna go absolutely insane. And that's what I'm looking for. I want some high growth. But with high growth comes risk. But to mitigate that risk, I have my portfolio very diversified. I'm not all into anything. I have them split up pretty evenly. And if you look at my equity, you'll see uh, my biggest positions right now are Alibaba, Fubo, and Virgin Galactic. So that is how I mitigate my risk because if one stock does terrible in a day, I have all these other companies to help me back it up. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this strategy. If you want me to make a video on a specific topic, let me know in the comment section. I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.